Everyone, so we're here now in Jerusalem. So in this video is papunta tayo ngayon sa Terrace Park. So dito lang ako sa may Ramban at nakita ko yung magandang spot na to dito sa may... Hello mga kabadi! So narito ngayon tayo ngayon sa may Yitzhak Karib Street sa may tabi ng Mamila ng Mamila Mall ang open mall dito sa May Jerusalem so papunta tayo ngayon sa Teddy's Park napuntahan ko na siya dati but hindi ko siya naiblock ng, naiblock ng full block talaga so ito yung Mamila yan as you can see di ba? nakikita nyo ang Mamila at mag T360 muna tayo ng ikot So ayan, 360 na siya. Nabilang nyo ba kung 360 degrees? So ayan, malapit na tayo ngayon sa May Teddy's Park. Dito sa may side ng May Yitzhak Karib Street, dito malapit sa May David Citadel, sa Mamila Hotel, is talagang bonggang-bongga yung kanilang mga places. As you can see, di ba dito? Di ba parang palasyo? Ang tara, di ba? Parang palasyo. So, yeah. Tapos, meron ditong babasahin na ang damang haba-haba. Hindi ko naman yan kilala. Ang kulit ko, no, diba? Pero ayaw ko bawal at ang pumasok dyan. Doon. Maganda kasi yung place na yun. Pero maganda naman din dito. Parang malabo yata yung camera ko, guys.
So I will read it. So this house located in the upper channel of the Ben Hinnom Valley also, the, also tells the story of many other sites in Jerusalem where the voyage through generation is revealed among the different layers of excavation. Archaeological excavation carried out at this site revealed the remains of a large water cistern from the Roman period or the first century uh, and the remains of the elegant public buildings from the Byzantine period, 4th to 7th centuries. This preserved and partially restored building was built at the beginning of the 20th century and rebuilt lesser known chapters regarding the development of Jerusalem outside the old city walls. And this building was constructed at the edge of the Bamimila Commercial Center and appears to have been used for rental and commerce. Over the years, its owners included German Christians, Arabs, and Jews. After 1948, compound was situated in no man's land and later the building was destroyed and covered with debris during the works carried out for construction of this park by the Jerusalem Foundation the house and the compounds more ancient layers and uncovered